on guys I am back it is a dev king here back with another video so I haven't uploaded in a few days and I'm really sorry um I've been kind of lazy recently I'm not even gonna say I was busy because I really wasn't I was just kind of being lazy but um I'm back so no need to worry about that and in today's video I'm gonna be teaching you guys about uh, events okay so basically um, events are stuff like basically okay this is how it works okay events are things that Roblox listens for, okay? They're also called RBX script signals, but no one's ever gonna call it that, they're just gonna call it an event. But basically, Roblox has listeners in the game, and whenever they listen to it and they hear it, then they'll do this. So, don't worry about what I just said, okay? That might sound a little bit confusing, but it's really simple, trust me. So let's go ahead and insert a script, okay? So workspace, script, and let's go ahead and start okay so to start this we're gonna go ahead and show you like a, a you know one of the events and we're gonna go ahead and insert a part okay so go ahead and click on this button to insert a part so there you go and then let's go ahead and get the move tool move it up just a little bit and then anchor it okay anchor it just make sure or anchoring it just make sure that it, that it doesn't fall out of the sky okay because we want it to be floating in the sky so let's go ahead and type in um, or get the position of the thing or not the position but the thing all right so game dot workspace dot part and um, we'll go ahead and rename this part actually because we part is like a bad name for a part <laughs> so we'll do it my fave part and then we can go ahead and do this my fave part dot touched okay wait and before we type in dot touched as you can see here on my screen there's like a little lightning symbol next to the word okay now the lightning symbol basically just means that it's an event okay and if you see like the little like 3D rectangle here, that means it's a property. And then um, there's no functions here, but I'll show you what it looks like in a second. But yeah, so basically that's how you know it's an event. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and type that in, not touch, and then you're gonna do connect. Okay. Now, if you, you want to read this, you can. But basically, all that all it connect does, it, it connects a function to the event. So whenever the event is called, you can connect a function to it. All right. So let me show you what I mean. So we're gonna go ahead and um, show you show you what this does so basically whenever this thing is touched okay the part is touched it this function or this block of code right here like blah 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 will run okay so all that code will run and now for now we'll just do um, I was stepped on <laughs> stepped on <laughs> all right but we'll do that for now and then um, let's just go ahead and run it to show you what it does okay so let's hit play and wait for it to load boop, 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 and obviously step on the part and boom now if you're wondering why it's firing so many times it's because that all my body parts like I have l multiple different body parts that are all touching the thing okay so that's basically why so yeah anyways this is why so okay let's go ahead and get into the next thing and sorry about my freaking dog he's like running around in my room I don't know what he's doing, <laughs> but yeah. Um, so let's go ahead and stop that. All right, and I'll show you something else we can do. All right, so basically, that was the event. Okay, the event was touched. Now I'm gonna show you another way how. Um, I'm gonna show you another way that these events work. Okay, because some people do it differently than I do, and there's two different ways to do it, which are both correct. But like, it just depends on the person who wants to do it. Personally, I like the way we just did better, but um, I'll show you the way now. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a function. So we'll do local function, um, local function, uh, awesome sauce, okay, <laughs> um, and then end, okay? So now this function, you guys know what functions are, you learned that in a few tutorials ago. Um, whenever this function is called, we'll just go ahead and do print function called and print, oh, print, I was stepped on and um and we'll do this too we'll do um we'll do game dot workspace dot my fave oh my crap my fave part dot anchored is equal to false okay so you guys know what anchoring does like i said earlier it makes really basically makes it so it stays in the air okay so then we'll connect this function to this event whatever it's called okay so we'll do awesome sauce right and now put that parentheses there I think yeah but awesome sauce all right and now whenever this um, script runs it's gonna see what the function does okay and then it's connect it's gonna connect the function to the event so it's gonna fire the function whenever this event is fired 
Okay, so let's go ahead and play. And what's going to happen is we're going to step on it. Oh, crap. What the heck? Line 9. Call it nil value. Wait, what? Is it because I put the parentheses there? That might be why. I don't think so. Okay, I think that was why. My bad. So don't put the parentheses there. But let's go ahead and step on it. And boom. So that was kind of cool. So I stepped on it, right? And basically what it did was like, okay, let me scroll up real quick. It said function was called, okay? Because it's the first line of the function. And then it says, I was stepped on. And then it makes the function or makes the um, the thing fall. So that's actually kind of cool. Like I jumped on it, it's like poof, and it fell. So, you know, that could be useful for like an obby game or something where you want to like make sure the parts fall whenever you touch it. So that's really cool, actually. So um, that is how you call functions through an event. So, yeah, guys, that's how you do it. Anyways, um, sorry about that error I showed you, but don't put parentheses whenever you're firing the function. Okay, so now I'm going to show you one more thing about events and how you can see all the events and what they all are. So go ahead and go to the View tab up here, and you're going to want to go ahead and type or hit the Object Browser button. Now, this is kind of old school. Some people don't even use the Object Browser anymore, and you don't really need to. You can use the Wiki if you want to, but personally, I like it a lot because it's just really accessible, and you don't have to go on Google or anything and search up the Wiki, but you should use the Wiki every once in a while because it's going to be useful. But if you want to stay in Roblox, this is an easy way to do it. Okay, so basically the object browser just shows you all the properties, functions, and events of an object. Okay, and objects are like anything that you can insert. So scripts are objects, you know, um, the sky box is an object, shirts are an object, parts are objects. So objects like anything that, anything, I, I don't know, <laughs> but I hope you know what I mean. But yeah, okay, so we're going to go ahead and scroll down to parts, okay? So part is actually up here. So we found part. Now... Let me move this down a little bit. So on the right side of your screen here, or right side of the port object browser, it shows you all of the functions. Now, if you see it, it has a rectangle, like a 3D rectangle, um, and like the little dashes behind it. That means it's a function, okay? And it also, you also know that because it has uh, parentheses beside it, but that means it's a function. And now the things inside of it are all these parameters, okay? So um, let me show you. So wait for child, you'll be using a lot. That's a pretty popular function. And these are just all the properties so you can see what they all do. And it's kind of stupid because Roblox doesn't give you a description for all of them. Like, it's like, what the heck? Why is there no description? But some of them are pretty self-explanatory. So, like, see, as you can see, this one it gives you, like, a description, which you can read later. But this one gives you a description. But, like, you know, some of these don't. Like, this one doesn't. This one does. But this one doesn't. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of weird. But... What I'm telling you about is events, and these are all the events, okay? Now, specifically, part has a touched event, and now all, not all things have a touched event, okay? Parts do are one of them, but not all things do. So then it has touch ended. So whenever a part stops touching another part, then, um, you know, that event fires. Now, whenever... We well, guys know what childs are, right? So whenever a child is added, so, like, if I add over here, like, I added another part into it, or I added a particle emitter, maybe, if I added a particle emitter into the part, this event would fire if the script was going, like if the game was running, this event would fire, okay, because a child of this was added, so this is the child and this is the parent, okay, so, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, you can read through a few of these if you want to, but, um, whenever you're confused or you need to know what event stuff have, then just go here and you can read up on it, and it's pretty simple, it shows you what, you know, you need to know, and, um, yeah. Okay, guys, so yeah, that is the video. That is events. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure to subscribe. And um, yeah, before I end the video, I want to actually test one thing real quick. <laughs> it's going to be kind of cool, but let me just test it. Um, so we'll do part is equal to false. Wait, what? Does that work? I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. But, like, a lot about scripting is testing, okay? I just want to tell you that. And a lot about scripting is testing, and it's just really cool to test stuff like, like this, so... Okay, okay, so that didn't really work as I expected. What I wanted to do, basically, was I wanted to touch it, and then I wanted it to wait a second, and then, oh wait, what am I doing? Aim dot workspace dot, if it part dot anchor is equal to true. So what I wanted to do is I want to step on it, right? And then, here, let me move it up a little bit. Let me add another thing in here. Sorry, guys. <laughs> like, you can you can go to the next tutorial if you want. I'm just kind of testing stuff, because for fun. But, I'm just going to go ahead and add like, a little spawn area. And what I'm going to do... I just want to see if it'll fall out of the sky and then stop. But let me see. 
Oh, I didn't anchor this part. Dang it. <sighs> My bad. Um, anchor. Anchor. Okay, play here. So yeah, guys, play here basically means play where you are in the workspace, and then play means play like as a spawn point. So I'm going to jump on it and... Oh, yeah, okay. Well, that's, that's actually another thing I should mention about events. Events, um, whenever event is ran, okay, like whenever like event is ran, if you have a wait in here, it won't wait if the event is ran again, okay? So if it's ran again, it doesn't care because it just overlays this. So that might sound a little bit confusing, but don't worry. I'll explain more about that later. All right, anyways, guys, that's the end of the tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.